Hello my soccer universe, let's finish the draw analysis extravaganza with the Europa Conference League draw which was also the last one that took place and one where I didn't go with too many expectations in there I actually was interested only in two things a that Sturm for Austria is getting a relatively manageable draw which I think they did um, and B I was curious who Union saint Julius would get since you know Lask could have managed to finish third who would, would be played and yes that would have been another belter so maybe good for my wallet but I'm a little bit with a teary eye you know with a little bit more luck could have finished third and he could have played Frankfurt what a dream draw that would have been dream draw is this also what Bode Glimt fans are looking you get Ajax probably the most uh, hallowed team in this election here and I think we have one relatively interesting one, although it's also, on the, as we will see, the most lopsided that I won according to my model between Dynamo and uh, Betis. Although no. Dynamo, yes, have not been good this year, but historically that could have been a really, really interesting one. So let's look over the pairings. And it was already the first team out of the <laughs> pot was Sturm Graz. And yeah, I was saying Slovan. It's clear it has to be Slovan. That's that's the seemingly most beatable team. Now Slovan is not an easy draw. Um, a, it's a neighboring duel, and B, Slovan Bratislava have a, a relationship with Austria Vienna. There is tension there. So it, in that sense, it's not a nice draw. But Sturm Graz are clear favorites, as as we'll see. Which for many opponents they could have drawn, they would not have been. So in that sense, I think this is a very favorable draw for them. Then the next one, uh, Ludogorets against Servet. Yes, I'm looking also out for my Bulgarians, although I would like to see other Bulgarian teams than Ludogorets. Relatively even one, I gotta say. Um, I have to say, again, from the Austrian perspective, it's probably good if Servet don't make too many points, but that's beside the point. Then, Eintracht Frankfurt, Union saint gilles this one, although Frankfurt are given the favorite role, I think this is a relatively close, close one because Union saint Julius can hurt and we have seen that last year in the Europa League. That is an open game, I would say. Uh, I also think that Dinamo Zagreb against Betis is probably closer. Betis should be the favorite, are the favorites, that they are the better team. But don't underestimate, you know, in European nights and so there's a little inexperience in this Betis team that I feel because they should have made it into the Europa League and not Conference again. Ferenc Varans against Olympiacos cannot tell you much except that Olympiacos are considered the favorites here, which I would agree, but on the other side, Ferenc Varans have played a really good Europa League campaign and kept it tied with um, Fiorentina to boot. Ajax have to go to the far north to Bode Glimt, where they will be favorite, but you know, not so good car, car conditions. Ajax not in the greatest run of their history for sure. So I could see an upset there. The other Norwegian team have to play against Legia, two teams that have eliminated Austrian teams not too re recently. I think that will also be a relatively tight on Molde giving the favorite role. I actually would... Gut feeling says Legia to me. But you know, what do I say? And then we have Ghent against Maccabi Haifa. Also one where I cannot say much, although I would expect Ghent to move on from there. And as with all the others, let's, let's look at how the favorite uh, roles have changed. Actually, we see quite a few changes. Not up, up top, because the top three teams are already in the ne next round. That will be more interesting. Aston Villa, Fiorentina and Lille. Bet is, of course, still high up. And, you know, with the draw, where they get a substantial um, ch uh, chance of pro progressing. It actually means that they stay up there. Frankfurt, like the draw Fenerbahce, uh, overtake Fenerbahce. Even in this case, we see uh, Ajax falling behind Pauk also, because Ajax got a little bit rougher draw, but you know, you don't see that many uh, significant changes there. Maybe the one for Dinamo Zagreb falling all the way down. So yeah, that was it for me from the Europa League draw. Um, at the moment of shooting, I don't know the schedule yet. If I know the, sh the schedule by the time I'm editing, you've seen already the games. There is, of course, played uh, on two Thursdays in mid-February. So I'm really, I'm curious about this one. I think there are quite some, there are two, three interesting ones in there. And I think it's only better from here. So let's see where it will go. In any case, let me know how you like the Conference League draw. Uh, if your team is in there, how do you like your opponent? And how do you see the chances? Who will win the Conference League? In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.